In today's Adobe Illustrator tutorial, you will learn how to create 3D flow shape with Blend tool. You will learn how to blend objects with gradients and use line to change 3D shape just as you want. You're watching TNT Tutorials? Let's move on and create a new document. Select Print, A4, Horizontal Orientation, in Advanced Options select RGB and click on Create. You can download colors and image reference by the link in the video description. Create layers for them, place them like so. Here I've decided to show you objects that we will use to create this 3D shape. Let's begin with creating new layer. Rename it to background. I for eyedropper tool. Let's pick this color. M for rectangle tool. Draw rectangle like this. Now go to gradient panel. If you want to have it here, click on window. Select gradient. This window will appear here. Just drag it right here. Now select radial gradient. Select this marker, color picker, pick this color, select this marker, and pick this color. Now simply drag this gradient tool like so. You can increase size. You can also place it here to make more smooth transition. Lock this layer, create new one, rename it to a 3D shape, and for pencil tool, you can draw shapes similar to this. You can draw your own shape. Just notice that you have such waves to have similar volume as in this illustration. You will be able to easily experiment because it takes only a few seconds to create such shape. So let's just draw one. I'll create shape like this. You can do it like so. Minus of this one is that there's too many points. You can get rid of them by clicking on Object, Path. Simplify, Preview, and play with these values. You can pick A for Direct Selection tool and play with handles and anchor points. Click here on Gradient, select Linear Type, select this slider, Color Picker. To create new marker, just click somewhere here. Then don't click on Color Picker again because it's still active. If you will click on it again right now, you will deselect it. I've picked these colors, V for selection tool, deselect this object. Now what you need to do is to create line. It's better to use pen tool, press P for pen tool and draw any line you want, like this for example. A for direct selection tool, if you want to play with handles, click here to swap fill and stroke. Color of your line really doesn't matter, it can be any color. Now it's better to have four or five points in your line. So I will add one. Now I have four points here. We added one more point to have better control on our future 3D shape. Now select this object, duplicate it like so. We have four points in this line, A for direct selection tool to view them. So let's create four objects here. Press Ctrl D two times. Now select this object, object, blend, Blend Options, select Specified Distance, let's select three points for now, click OK, nothing happens, that's OK, Object, Blend, Make. If you will zoom in, you can see that there are some rough transitions here, you can make them even more rough, Object, Blend, Blend Options, click on Preview, enter 8 here for example, click on Preview again, click OK. You make more rough transitions, just to not slow down your computer. Now with this one selected, select line also, object, blend, replace spine. Now what options do you have here? As you can see we've created four shapes, they are all here. If we won't create four shapes, we would have only two shapes, at the end and in the beginning of this one. Having these two shapes, gives us more possibilities. Double click on this shape, select this one for example, and make it bigger. You can select this one and make it smaller. You can even rotate it, replace it like this, and even change gradients here. For example, let's pick this marker, double click on it, and select some different color, like this. 
So this allows you to add more color transitions. You can add more points to this line, accordingly create more figures, and this will allow you to play with your shape even more. I'll press Ctrl Z to undo. To make your workflow even faster, select this shape, Object, Blend, Blend Options, and change specified distance to some really high value. It can be 50 for example or even more. Now your changes will be applied even quicker. And while you will be happy with your design, you will increase blending steps. So you can rotate shapes like this. You can see what results do we have here. You can also have some unexpected results by clicking here to swap fill and stroke. You can see the transitions here change it. So if you will click swap fill and stroke for this object also, you will have these transitions here. So you can double click somewhere to exit this isolation mode and you can make different transitions within one shape. Like this. Blend tool gives you a lot of combinations. I'll press Ctrl Z. You can also play with this line, A for direct selection tool, select it and play with anchor points. Play with handles also. Play with your shape like this. To make it look more interesting, just move this one here. V for selection tool, select this one and make it really bigger, like so. Now select this one and make it smaller. Rotate it if you want to. You can place it somewhere here, for example. When you will be happy with your design, just exit this isolation mode, select your shape, object, blend, blend options, preview, and enter one point here, for example. Now you see that your design is really smooth, click OK. You have one more option here, select this object, go to object, blend, reverse spine. You can see that your work looks absolutely different. Now just simply move shapes. You can see that my computer runs slow now, because I didn't change blending steps, so you should do that. I'll press Ctrl Z. You also have reverse front to back here. If you want to get rid of these shapes, you want to leave this line, but you want to change shapes. Select release. Now you can delete them for example. Create some new shape, like this. Select gradient, make four copies. Because we have four points in this line, if you will have five points, you should create five shapes. Select them all, object, blend, make. Now select line also, object, blend, replace spine, double click on this object, select each one of them, rotate them, make them smaller, change gradients colors and play with line. Experiment with shapes that you want to blend, don't forget to change blend steps when you're making changes and use baseline to change flowing of your blended 3D shape. If you learned something new from this tutorial, drop a comment below. Let me know if everything was clear enough for you and what you liked about this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, support this channel by clicking on subscribe and what's most important by clicking on the bell icon to get notifications about newest tutorials from TNT. I would also appreciate if you'll click thumbs up and will share this video. This was TNT Tutorials. See you in next videos.